This is Nikolai von Bragi, and um, I'm excited to show you how the dash works and go through the basic app and also how to use and control the dash on myself. So I have my phone and you can see that it is playing back music from the device. You can hear that. So it's not connected to the device. And here we have the dash, and you can see that it lights up blue in the middle here, and it, or green actually, and it shows that it has uh, power on the device. So I'm going to slide it out. The stickers that you see is just identifying it's a B3 unit, and those stickers is identifying that it's mine, and it's flickering a bit maybe because of the screen capture. So I'm taking out the device. On the back you see this is a pre-production prototype. This is not something that you will have on your devices, only for the developers, not for the remaining parts of our Kickstarter backers. They will have final devices, obviously. And I have inserted them in my ear. It says ding, because it's inserted. Then it says da dum, and it says I'm now connected. So I have my Learn to Fly, and I'd like to listen to that. So I will tap once on my right ear, and I'm listening to freakishly awesome music. I can now choose the next song by double tapping, and I get the next song. I want to go back to the previous song. I triple tap. There we go. So either to the start of the song or to the previous song. And I want to hear filter again. So double tap. I want the next song. Personal Jesus, Damien Rice. And there we go. Then it's the end of the playlist. So I go into my playlist, I take Another one, and I love Smashing Pumpkins. So I have a playlist. Next one. Awesome. So I'll just pause that because otherwise I can only hear what I'm saying. I can go into the Bragi app and it's connected. And I can go into activities. And when I start my heart rate measurement, it will get a heart rate. And this takes about 30 seconds to get there. And on the left devices, I tap it. You see my heart rate is about 84 right now, which is fine because I'm kind of excited by doing this. Um, and it drops in the first few seconds. The first few seconds is the, the trickiest, but you see the heart rate coming out. Um, obviously, I don't have a reference device with me right now, but I could have. So yeah, there you go. Um, another part of the, the app that I really like, that is, is free from the start, is what we have in the service area. So in the service area, we have a user manual, and this is the actual app, it's not some kind of demo, it's the actual app. And I would like to have uh, help with listening to music. And how can I select a playlist? And we'll go in and say, well, how you can select the playlist and how you're going to use it and when that information was put there. Or I would like to stream audio to the dash. So how can I do that? And if there's something you can't do or don't know how to do or need help to do, you can go back and go into my chats. And in my chats, you can write us a message in our custom support. So I write, I found a bug, or I have feedback, or I have a question. So, well, I have a question. I would like to know how does a certain thing work. So, 
how does X set actually work? And I can attach a picture. I can write in more detail about what I want to know. And I can just send the thing here, which I need to have the question, obviously. And now I can actually send something. I don't have much power left. And it's sending the message into our uh, custom support. And it says, I will get back shortly. And you see, I, you have one thing that you have been discussing with us or like to improve on. So you have the communication with us all the time. Um, you can also rate the dash app. You can also uh, add questions, uh, say you found a bug uh, and report that back to us. The app is in continuous uh, development. So there'll be more and more the further we go, which is awesome. Thank you very much and uh, looking forward to give you the next kind of update.